Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make big round crochet basket. Um, I'm using 6 millimeters cord. Uh, this is Monami Studio cord. You can get the cord in this eShop. Uh, you can choose from various colors. This time I'm using number 15. It's dark gray. Also, all the information about the cord, all the links um, to the written pattern uh, and materials used, you can also find uh, below the video in the description. I'm using 7 millimeters hook, so let's start. We will start by making magic circle. Put around two fingers, X from this side, from this side looks like this, and put the hook like this, pull it through and twist, and then take this cord and pull it through, and you have magic circle done. And we will start making the basket. So now round one. We will make seven single crochet around this circle. This is the end of the cord. I am working also together with the cord so that it would be invisible. So seven single crochet. One. Two, three, do not worry, the magic ring, magic circle can be bigger, later we will pull it to form a circle. So we made three single crochet, now four, five, six, and Seven. So we made seven single crochet. This is the end of the cord. Just pull it really hard and you have nice circle. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch with these two stitches. Just and pull it through these two loops and this loop. And you have a beautiful circle. At the end of every round, there will be a joining stitch. So, this is the end of round one. Now, round two. Chain one and make. So, make two single crochet in one stitch and repeat this seven times in total. We are starting with the stitches that we made a slip stitch to. So two single crochet, the first one and the second one also to the same stitch. Looks like this. Now to the second stitch also two single crochet. The first one and the second one. Now, third time, two single crochet in one stitch. Fourth time, fifth time, now sixth time, and the last seventh time, one, two in the same stitch. So we repeated this seven times in total, and now let's join with the slip stitch right here. Just a slip stitch like this. By the way, I'm making this basket quite sturdy, hard, so it could stand 
This is the end of round 2 and at the end of this round you should have 14 stitches. I am counting the first one as I am working on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stitches. Now round 3. Chain 1, make 1 single crochet, just like this, now make 2 single crochet in the next stitch, the first one and the second one. Now again 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet in the next stitch. The first one and and the second one. So repeat this one single crochet, two single crochet in one stitch seven times in total. So I made one, two and repeat this seven times in total. I'm at the very end of round three. I repeated one single crochet two single crochet in one stitch seven times and at the end of a round I will join with the slip stitch just like this and at the end of this round you should have 21 stitches. Now round four. Chain one and we will repeat the same as in round three. One single crochet, two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet in one stitch. Now again, one single crochet. Two single crochet in the same stitch and repeat this till the end of the round. I am at the very end of round four. I repeated one single crochet, two single crochet in one stitch ten times and at the very end I made one more single crochet. And now at the very end let's join with this slip stitch just like this and this is the end of round four. At the end of this round you should have 31 stitch. Now round five. Chain one make two single crochet the first one and the second one and two single crochet in one stitch the first one and the second one so i made two single crochet and then two single crochet in one stitch now again the first single crochet the second single crochet and now two single crochet in one stitch so repeat this combination two single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch till the end of the round and i am almost at the very end of round five i repeated two single crochet two single crochet in one stitch ten times now we will make one more single crochet just like this and this is the joining stitch of the rounds and i will make a slip stitch and this is the end of round five from this side it looks like this it's nice like a circle from the other side it looks like this and at the end of this round, you should have 41 stitch. Mm -hmm. 
Now around six, chain one, make three single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch. So one, two, three single crochet and now two single crochet in one stitch the first one and the second one i need more cord now again three single crochet one two three and two single crochet in one stitch the first one and the second one so repeat this three single crochet two single crochet in one stitch till the end of the round and i almost finished round six this is how it looks like so i repeated three single crochet two single crochet in one stitch ten times and now at the very end i will make one more single crochet just like this and i will join with the slip stitch at the end at the end of this round you should have 51 stitch it can look that it's coming curly but no worries everything is gonna be okay now around seven chain one now make five single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch so one two three four and five five single crochet and now in the next stitch two single crochet just like this one two three four five and two single crochet in one stitch so repeat this till the end of this round and i'm at the very end of round seven i repeated five single crochet two single crochet in one stitch eight times in total and now at the very end i will make three single crochet one two and three and i will join with the slip stitch just like this so at the end of this round at the end of the round seven my base for the basket looks like this at the end of this round you should have 59 stitches now round eight chain one make eight single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch so one two three four five six seven and eight and now make two single crochet in the next stitch the first one and the second one and repeat the same eight single crochet two single crochet in one stitch till the end of the round so i repeated eight single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch six times I am almost at the very end of this round and now I will make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now let's join with the slip stitch. The end of this round you should have 65 stitches if you are getting the circle that is going 
curly no worries mine is also getting a bit curly but i'm making it flat and in the other rounds you will see everything is gonna be okay now round nine chain one now we will make 10 single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second also in the same stitch so repeat the same ten single crochet two single crochet in one stitch till the end of this round so i repeated five times 10 single crochet, 2 single crochet and 1 stitch. I repeated this combination 5 times and now at the end I will make 10 more single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Eight, nine, and ten. So this is the end, and I will make join with the slip stitch. As you can see, this is nice joining stitch. So at the end of this round, you should have seventy stitches all the way. Seventy stitches. Now round 10. We will repeat the same. Chain 1. So make 10 single crochet, 2 single crochet and 1 stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine and ten and make two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second one so repeat this till the end of the round so uh, i repeated ten single crochet two single crochet and one stitch six times in total this is how the base of the basket looks like and now to end the round i will make four more single crochet one two three and four and i will join with a slip stitch just like this and at the end of this round you should have 60 uh, you should have 76 stitches now round 11 chain one make 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second one so repeat this till the end of the round and i am uh, almost at the end of round 11 so i repeated 10 single crochet two single crochet and one stitch 
six times in total and now I will end this with single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one ten single crochet and at the very end we will join with a slip stitch so this is the end of round 11 and at the end of this round you should have 82 stitches this is how the work looks like this is the base of the basket now around 12 chain one i can see that this is not the most fun pattern to do and as we are repeating the same and the same but just this is the pattern so we will make five single crochet one two three four and five and we will chain make two single crochet in one stitch now the first one and the second one. so five single crochet and two single crochet in one stitch and now we will repeat the same as previous rounds 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch so repeat this combination 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch till the end of the round and i will meet you at the end of this round i am at the end of round 12 so i repeated six times in total 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch and i'm almost at the end of the basket uh, and i'm almost at the end of the round and i will make 10 more single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now i will join with a slip stitch just like this so at the end of this round you should have 89 stitches and this is how the base of the tote bag after round 12 looks like you should have 89 stitches no worries if it's getting a bit curly it will come up fine later this is the joining stitch and two more rounds to go for the base and then we will make up the sides of the basket now around 13 chain make 10 single crochet two single crochet in one stitch and you will repeat this till the end of the round one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten and two single crochet in one stitch the first one and the second one and repeat this ten single crochet two single crochet in one stitch all the round i am at the very end of round 13 i repeat that combination 
chain 10 make two double crochet and one stitch eight times in total and now uh, this is the joining stitch so i need to make one more single crochet just like this and now we will make joining stitch at the end so this is the end of round 13 at the end of this round you should have 90 seven stitches so uh, this round was the last one for the base of the basket so we have nice circle with 97 stitches and now we'll start making the sides of the basket so what you will have to do chain one at the beginning work in single crochet all the round and at the end join with a slip stitch every round make 97 stitches and the next round will be the again chain one work in single crochet all the round and join with a slip stitch at the end if you want the basket to be taller make more rounds if you want to be shorter make less rounds So now how to make this stitch. Now um, in other, other videos I heard how to make the right single crochet, uh, making correct or not correct the stitches. Um, I think that there are just different ways how to make the stitch. There is no right or wrong way how to make the stitches. They are just different ways how to make them so making single crochet to look like x just like this pull it through put the hook on the top of the cord pull it through and then from the back pull it through and then it looks like x now again on the top pull it through from the back pull it through and one more time on the top pull it through from the back pull it through you see it looks like letter x if i would make from the bottom and from the back it would look like letter v once again from the bottom from the back it would look differently like letter v you see so once again how I'm making the stitch from the top from the back from the top from the back and then we have this pattern that looks like small letter X so this is the basket I'm making so far this is how it looks like the inside of the basket very nice and round it stands perfectly i already used about 200 meters of the cord and this is the second spool so it's about 250 meters so far now the height of this bag is about 22 centimeters looks really really nice and i already finished this basket i made it 40 centimeters tall i changed the color twice i made it also with the handles you can find this cord in this link this is a dark gray color number 15 this is light gray color number 11 and if you want to make the basket with the handles i will show you the link you can find it between my videos i hope you will like it also